There you go. Right, uh, the meter I'm going to use for this uh, line of the repeated test is the 1651, um, which is a uh, first class instrument, uh, reliable and uh, easy to use. And I've set the instrument um, on uh, uh, full current test, so I'll be um, testing using a maximum current of um, 25 amps around the uh, line of line of the path. I've connected one of my instrument leads onto the earth bar of the distribution board, and what I'm going to do now is to connect onto one of the lines. Zigzag symbol there tells me that I have power. Now all you need to do is to press the button and bingo. I've got a loop in peaks of uh, 0.18 ohms and the prospective fault current at least is 1.3 kA. This is a three phase installation so it would have to be doubled. So the fault current would be 2.6 kA. about 242 volts fluctuating slightly. The frequency is um, very steady at 50 hertz, which is the display of the uh, right hand corner of the display panel. So there we go. The nominal voltage for the installation is of course 230 volts. This is only the declared voltage, not the actual voltage of any installation. And most installations that uh, in my experience, I still operate at 240 volts or, or even more. One of the uh, one of the problems with a new uh, with an installation you can't uh, disconnect from the supply is. Um, that you have no measure of insulation resistance. Uh, one piece of guidance you could use is to use uh, is to measure um, earth leakage currents, which is what's uh, happening here. Uh, the currents of clamp is clamping all the four mains cables coming from the main switch. In accordance with Lenz's law, the sum of those currents should add up to zero. In this case, it's fluctuating. I can see through the viewfinder. It's currently around about 1.4 um, amps which is uh, a little bit excessive. The earth leakage is probably coming from a machine rather than the wiring. The insulating material in this installation is either crosslink polyethylene or PVC which has a very very high dielectric strength and it's most uh, unlikely to be uh, the cause of uh, any earth leakage or deterioration. It's uh, Rather a good idea, I think, to uh, measure demand on installation. It's not only a good idea, it's essential. And uh, the current measured on this particular phase is around about 20 amps. And I've got the, um, the meter set on minimum and maximum, and I'll leave it there for uh, maybe half an hour or so and see what uh, peak current demands occur when machines are switched on. At the moment, most of the sweet machines are um, they're off. Now. I've now finished um, measuring demand on the installation. I set my clamp meter on a minimum and maximum setting and over the period of measurement the maximum current as can be seen here is 110 amps. So momentarily at least the installation is very slightly overloaded although this is of uh, no real consequence because um, it would have to be considerably overloaded to, to blow those fuses and uh, these peak demands are measured in, in seconds at the most and the average current, if I were now to go to average uh, the minimum current is 90.8 amps um, 
the average current is 37.9 amps. Right, the test uh, about to be conducted here is a test of uh, phase rotation which should be verified on every installation and to do that uh, there's a little gizmo that has been made up to make a connection to the three phases and that enables, um, enables this test to be conducted. The button is pressed and the disc rotates, the lights light up and if it rotates in a clockwise direction and the three lights are on, then phase rotation is correct. The test uh, that's being conducted here is a test to determine that uh, this compressor is, uh, is connected to Earth. And uh, what we are doing is conducting a line of loop test. And the reading obtained is 0 0.49 ohms. Um, it's a composite test. It's using the line conductor of one circuit and the protective conductor of another. Um, but the inaccuracy involved in this